Hi, Mark here. Making games is fun. Why don't we make a simple game on top of what we have built in the past? If you don't have Python installed to your machine, you can watch my Python installation video at the description below. So let's prepare for the project. What I like to do is I'm going to create a folder. This folder I'm going to name a guessing game like that. Then I'm going to open Visual Studio Code, adding folder inside this editor. I'm going to create a Python file and then name main.py. Let's print something. Hello world. And save file, save the project, and let's run. I open the terminal, Python and main.py. Here you go. It seems like my hello world is working. The next thing is, how am I going to write a guessing game? First of all, let me delete this line. Start thinking about the logic. Maybe I start random answer by creating a variable answer equal random dot rand int start from 1 to 20 maybe in order to use random function i have to import random all right let's print the answer out answer let's save file save and run run it is missing has no attribute random int maybe i have to use all capital case here you go. I got eight. Now let's run again. I got 19. Run again. 20. That's cool. Next thing is I'm going to have to tell user how to play the game. Let's change this. How about that? Then I'm going to take the answer from user. Create a variable called prediction. And the prediction we will get from input function. Let's just print it out, save and run the program. Here you go. I'm guessing a number from one to 20. Can you guess it? Maybe I guess five. The result is five and expected. Now, the next thing is I might need to cast the answer from string to number by creating is func int function on the top. The next thing is I'm gonna print print function and I'm going to create if, if my prediction is more than answer. Is the prediction more than answer? Then I will print the answer is to i. Else if, if the prediction is less than the answer, print the answer is to low. Else print it is correct. And the game's in. Let's try it on. I forgot colon. Saved it and try again. I'm guessing a number of one to 20, maybe five. It's correct. Wow, amazing. Try again, five again. The answer is too low. And the game pen. I just want to change this to make it more repeatable. I can use Y true. And then I have to tap all the whole block inside Y loop. Here you go. If the answer is correct, then I'm going to break out of the loop by using function break. Let's try again. I guess number seven. The answer is too low and the program crash. And that's because I should get the prediction inside this while loop as well. Maybe I move this in front of here. Here you go. Now every iteration player can predict and then change the answer. Let's save it. Try again. Can you guess it? Maybe seven. The answer is too high. Maybe four. It seems too high. Maybe three, two, one. It's correct. The answer is one. Maybe you can have a point system here and show that how many trial have you predict. That's fun. Let's create a variable to store a point. It's called count equals zero. And then every time you predict it, I'm gonna create count equal count plus one. And then when you break of the loop you can report this result let's go back here print you have attempt for count time here you go let's run the game can you guess it maybe it guess i don't know 10 the answer is too low uh 15 that's correct i have attempts for two times here you go that's fun very simple game and it's fun and you can show this game to your friend if you like it maybe subscribe for more i'll see you on the next video peace